Ladies and H.P. Lovecraft, welcome to another cozy little indie horror let's play. Today we'll be playing an old style type of Lovecraftian adventure game, which released, I believe, yesterday. So it's only old style, but not actually old. Uh, it might turn into an episodic game. It kind of depends on the success of this episode. And it is called... Candlelight. All right, I feel at this point it's quite time to uh, blow out the candle. And then jump right in. Ready for a story? No. Such tedious. All right, thanks for hanging out. See you in the next episode. Goodbye. Yes. Yes. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's us. Anna? Your name is Ed. Regret and missing make you keep talking about your granddaughter's name. You don't know where you are. Anna. Shug. Anna, Shug. Where, oh. Where are you? Anna. My granddaughter is missing. Sweet Lord, what do I do? I mean, literally, can't leave. Oh, we're going this way. <laughs> Mycelium. You have 70 years of life experience and have done decades of geological survey, but you have never seen such a thing. You need a higher delusional... You need a higher dimensional vision to solve your doubts. Oh, yeah. I already got that in real life, but he still needs to learn it. He's kind of a slow learner. I mean, he's... Already 70 and still doesn't have the higher dimensional vision. <laughs> uh, wait, what? Use awake. Shimmering light. This is awake. The awake is like another eye. Under its gaze, you can't understand. Things you can't understand can be revealed for more. Now try awake on that I like mycelium. Wake up, you little rascal. So the keeper is like the storyteller. When you rushed away from home and walked towards the entrance of the village, you had a short dream. You still sense the chill on your skin. Maybe it's because Adam's letter makes you have some uncomfortable associations. You still have that letter in your pocket. Without delay, leave the village now. You've read this letter hundreds of times. This time you only focus on the key points. The missing cases, rumors of strange creatures, your granddaughter, Anna. I can tell you the truth about everything, Ed. You must come to my house. Even if the curfew is strict recently, you must come. What's lurking in tame city is completely beyond our understanding. 
The research results must not be known by the police or any person who has high trust in order and rationality. No, I trust in the irrational. That's what I trust in. Including my wife and my housekeeper. No one should know about it. You're the only one I can trust, Ed. You must come to my house. For some reason, I can't welcome you at the front door of my house as usual. You have to find your own way to my bedroom. Whatever it takes, I have left the key and the letter. My housekeeper, Miss Brown, will leave the house at 6 a.m. to buy breakfast when you can sneak in. Remember, this is a secret visit. Don't let anything out. I can't even squeeze one out. But why is it so secret? Oh. Is that Miss Brown? You start to feel anxious when you see the villagers. At least a short dream in the world of ice and snow let you escape from this world full of prejudice. Now back to the reality or still the evil doctor in their eyes. Don't talk to them too much and leave the village at once. There was like the keeper's hint. I'm gonna save and talk to everyone. <laughs> Good evening, Doc. <sighs> the only one person in the whole village will show such enthusiasm to you, even if she knows your scandals. You admire her too, but she didn't show up at the right time. Good evening. Where are you going? The police want me to check something, you know. Well, I'm sorry about Anna, too. We'll have a chance to talk again, okay? Okay, Doc. This person deserves your trust, but you have to go now. So what if we give her the trust? Why do you tell me this afterwards? It's about Anna's whereabouts. I have to visit the professor. Well, I'm sorry about Anna, too. We'll have a chance to talk again, okay? Okay, Doc. This person deserves your trust, but you have to go now. Okay, so we can trust her. We know that now. Oh, no. Sneaky man. I have nothing to say to this guy. Sweet Lord. This is one weird place. Kind of like the art style. Step back! You shall not pass! Oh, isn't this a doctor who lost his granddaughter? <laughs> you rarely have the urge to criticize a person's appearance, but this is an exception. What's up, Mr. Googly Eyes? <laughs> oh, he's not done. The man's eyes are weak and greedy, with an undercurrent of desire moving in his body. Neither the judge nor the priest will appreciate his face. Step aside, let me out. Where are you going? He doesn't care about the problem at all, but it's a bluff. None of your business, give away. Maybe it's not convincing. If people can get in and out at will, can you still call a curfew? Oh, he's the curfew enforcer. Just a random guy with a pitchfork. Do you know the man with the big nose over there? He keeps staring at you. How the F is this your business? So you know each other. Old man, I don't know what you're talking about. It doesn't matter. I know each other. I know you know each other anyway. Damn it. How come they sent you to keep the entrance of the village? Why are you guarding? Why are you guarding the entrance? The chief chose me anyway. Guess what you like, crazy old man? 
Don't you... Don't you guard your own house? Then think with your head, uh, why do you come out and wander at this time? Because our situation is similar. There are no children in my family. What's to worry about? Oh, I was thinking with my... Like always. <laughs> and you even lost the only child in the family. <laughs> so it's not the chief who appointed you to guard the entrance, but you did it by yourself. Inside. Consume one awake. Deception. Consume three awake. How many awake do we have? Wait, let's save and uh, let's do the one that works. Insufficient awake. I don't know what's happening. How can I save the game? Escape doesn't do anything anymore. See, maybe I have to go back and save? That's a non safe rim. That's indeed a non safe rim. Can't save in that rim. And we can also, we can't make a new set. What? I can't set. What is happening? Oh, now I could save. He said something. Ed needs help or something? Maybe we can ask uh, the girl, <gasps> Lucia. Can you do me a favor, kid? How's that? Conard is holding a pitchfork and blocking the entrance to the village. I can't get out. You have any ideas? All roads lead to Rome, Doc. But breaking the curfew is not a good idea, Doc. Tell me, kid. Give me a cigarette and I will tell you. I don't smoke. Then you better find a way. Okay, you are a boss. Very well, Doc. Spin your mind. What is... What is... What is... What is this dialogue? They should have... You know, maybe not translated it by themselves. I'm sure somebody would have... Translated it for them for free. What physical phenomenon is this? I got the, I got an awake, I think. You never know whether the horse is staying up late or sleeping. I, yeah, I don't know how they're sleeping. Are they sleeping? Are they sleeping standing? Oh god, we can move a little bit faster. We double click. This guy must have a cigarette, but I can't find an entry point yet. Ask Lucia what else she knows. How is it, Doc? Who is... Who's that man over there? Do you know him? No idea. Some kind of distant cousin, I guess. I noticed that both of you are using the same type of lantern. I lent it to him. That guy was empty-handed at first. Usually, if you don't have a light source in your hand, no one will buy the story that you are a night watch. Why using lanterns? Why lanterns? Isn't that flashlight... Isn't the flashlight brighter? You still got some time to have some economic lecture with me, Doc? Smoking is harmful to your health, kid. You don't seem urgent at all, Doc. By the way, I'm in my 30s. It's a bad idea to call me kid again. The 30s is still a young age to me, kid. Pretty words are useless to me, Doc. I am too overshaped to believe those false praises, especially for my looks. She's overshaped. <laughs> <laughs> She's overshaped. What the hell? Why? I would like to know why you choose a lantern. Fine, if you insist. Quick guess which costs less, a flashlight or a lantern? 
I have no clue. Are we talking about China? I mean, here, where I live, a flashlight. Should a flashlight be more economical? One light can barely be used of any batteries. Guessed wrong. The truth is more specific than these concepts. Night watch is not just a not, not one night job. Compared with the flashlight, the light of the lantern can last longer. If we use the flashlight, the battery and light bulb will die out fast. The traffic in our village sucks. The cost of transporting batteries and flashlights is insane. What's more? What's more? The rules of vigil and curfew are actually not strict in the village. Instead of using a flashlight that consumes much electricity, it's better for the long run to use an oil lamp. After all, the city is the high incidence of disappearances. She realized that she had said something that she shouldn't have said. Sorry, Doc, I didn't mean that. It's fine, kid. Okay, we're not going to go for hints right now. Maybe we can trick this guy. You have seen many people and students in your life inherently you you some understanding of faces. The man's hair and face tell you that he must be from the city and you have and have a wealthy family. He has a wealthy family face. I never seen you in the village. Who are you? It's none of your business, old man. You have a cigarette? Not for you, go away. What is trip up? In fact, I don't know many people in the village, if you are also a local, but we haven't met. It also makes some sense. You're right, old man, I live here. Your baited lad, your guilt face. <laughs> your guilt face exposed everything. You're lying outside there. Intimidate. He's sweating. I'll cut to the chase, lad. You took the lantern under his feet. This make you look more deterrent. I can report you in a minute. Just have to wake up the residents around me and you can be thrown into prison before dawn. What the F? What, what do you want? Give me a cigarette and get lost. Out of vigilance, the man took out his fancy cigarette. What he didn't know is that you had no appeal in the village because of the scandal. But it's harmless. You have achieved your goal. You old fart! Oh, we have the lantern too. Yay! Here is the cigarette. Well done, Doc! And you got the light! You'll learn fast! But where is the light, Doc? Shall I get you an ashtray as well? Huh, sounds good! But I don't think you can do anything about it. You heard a voice that alerts you from her hand in the pocket. What is that? You can... it's a lighter. You can hear what it is. Since you failed my task, it's time to say farewell to you. The woman took out the alloy product which makes the horrible noise. Oh, well, what a surprise. I never could have guessed that. <laughs> It's an elegant lighter. Bang! I'll lend you this for now. I will surely shock Conrad, but I'll use it first. So, you know, the translation into English is not that good. I guess you noticed. But so far, it's still interesting. I know you are a good kid. Different from other people in the village. <laughs> I modified this lighter. When the cover is closed, there will be a sound similar to pulling the bolt. The bolt of a gun. So if you want to play this shocking role, you have to keep it open and then try to cover it at the right time. My acting may be worse. May poverty bring you wisdom, Doc. So it's going to be an action game. We're going to be action grampers. Action grandpa with a fake revolver slash lighter. It's 70 years old. 70 is my next birthday, by the way. You can already congratulate me. And send me to duelers. The 
police. Uh, get out of the way. I'm going out on patrol. B.S. You obviously think of getting out of the village, and now you are patrolling? Do I look like a fool? I mean, go out on patrol. If you don't say a word, I might not think you're a fool who has an idea. No idea of basic logic. You want me to explain to you what a curfew is? I don't think you have the right to warn me. Where's your lantern? Got him. Listen, you can't leave the village now or I'll stab you through. Tomorrow the villagers will curse your body and I will be regarded as a hero. <laughs> Where do... What is this place? I'll tell you what, if you don't leave now, I have sufficient reason to report you as night watch. Those missing cases, those rumors are your debts now. Let's see if you can go back uh, alive. You quickly put your right hand into your coat and he become alert. Oh, uh, what's that? Take it out and have a look. I prefer to leave a 9mm hole in my coat. This will make me the hero. How are you the hero? I, did, uh, I killed him with the, but the old man wanted to leave the village. I killed him with the pitchfork. Now I'm the hero. Yay. Oh, the other guy, he, he was had the pitchfork, but he didn't have no lantern. So I shot him on the spot. I'm the hero. You're insane. The whole place becomes quieter than ever. And just as this moment, at this moment, the sound of the trigger under your coat clicked. Now, who is the night watch now? Where is your lantern, idiot? Don't, don't, don't shoot. I'll leave now, you crazy man. I think everyone is crazy here. Especially the translation. <laughs> the translation makes it seem way more crazy. At 4 a.m. you left the village. Sorry, I was delayed by the night watch when I left the village. You still got out. Very clever. It's not strict in this village. No, no, we only killed someone. Almost killed someone. It's not that strict. Now tell me about it, Doc. Why go out so early since you can't say it on the phone? How about here? Bleh. Not a word. I'm sorry. Focus on the road. Eyes on the road, kid. Okay, Doki, I understand. You know, drivers always like to ask for something. At other times, if the driver doesn't talk to you, he will usually turn on the late night radio. Even intermittent signals can alleviate the boredom of driving. But in the last half month, things have changed. Because of the numerous missing cases, there are curfews and vigils in Thames City. This means that people are resting during the day and night, so try to be quiet at night. What? 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 It's still dark and the air is wet and cold. The thought of Adam's letter hurts you again. You don't want to think for more. Maybe you didn't have a good rest last night and your lids are getting heavy. My lids? I got heavy lids. You woke up on the bench opposing to Adam's house with a burst of back ache at your age. Now it's just time for Miss Brown to go out. Let's see if we can save here. Let's do save one. I think this game might have multiple endings. I'm not sure though. I think it might have two endings. There's the house. In front of you is Adam's house. Oh, that's crazy. What if we go this way? Hilarious. Enter the fence. Bicycle. Oh, we got a newspaper. Yesterday, the number of missing children in Thames City increased by one, currently 17 in total. Citizens have continuously complained about this circumstance. 
One of the missing persons on the list is the daughter of the police and the the, the police. And the professional ability of the police has been widely questioned by the society. Newsboy's bike. Why did it stop here? Did this boy disappear too? The newsboy? The newsboy. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a newsboy. Yay! I mean, I guess you can't be a newsboy if you grow up, unless... Wait, like the girl? She's 30 and she he calls her kid? I guess with 30 you can still be a boy in that case. If you have a 70-year-old, you can call your kid and boy and little rascal all day long. Front door. Front window. It's not good to be found. I hear someone from the back door. It's not a good idea to go straight in. This is a secret meeting. Let's do eavesdropping. A child is speaking. Yesterday, an eight-year-old boy in the West District disappeared. The police are still trying their best to solve the case. The bizarre missing case in the whole city, which lasted for half a month, continues. Residents need to strictly enforce the night watch. Wait, this is not a child? The, this is about the child, right? I guess. No, it was a child. Miss Adams. That's terrible. I visited their house once, and their layout inside is still fresh in my memory. The stairs are in the direction of the main door, and Adams studies upstairs. Got to find a way in. So, we do, he doesn't want to go in through the main door. The back, there's a back door, right? There is a back door. Maybe now he can go around. Is this the back door? The door is locked. Maybe there's like a flower pot or something. I guess he can climb up there with 70. Jeez, imagine being 70. I mean, you still got, got, got a little while to go, right? If you're healthy and everything. If you didn't do much stupid things during your life. Oh, bottle. And you didn't, like, get just bad luck, right? Sometimes you do everything, you're healthy, and you didn't, you know, you didn't do stupid stuff. And then you just get hit by a car and die. But I guess with 70, you know, it's like, you're, you're old. You're actually old with 70. Oh, I need... I seem to have left the lighter Lucia gave me in the car. You're an idiot. 70 year old idiot. Okay, we got a lighter. And we got a bottle. What if we just... So the boy who's speaking inside to the lady is the news boy, right? I guess that's what it is. Maybe we could just... I thought maybe we could just light the newspapers and then hide. You know, something that a 70-year-old man would do. No? What do you mean, no? We need to do something with the bottle. back window it's impossible to cli climb inside from here well I'm no longer a respected university professor you asked me Adams whatever it takes Sush. 
Mrs. Adams! What is it? Did you hear that? Does that sound from the kitchen? I thought I heard wrong. Something seems to have broken. I'll have a look. Okay, now we go in and straight up. Up, up and away. But we're not Superman. We're 70 and soon dead. Yay! Let's go straight up. Okay, I made it. Adams, are you here? Why did he write a letter to me and said he was in the bed? That's so weird. He couldn't come out of his bed, of his room. How did he... What the... The note is written with strange symbols. Alright, I forgot this game is Cthulhu sort of inspired, I guess. At least it has the Cthulhu tag on Steam. Octal. Zero, one. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me use my eidetic memory. I only need to have one look, focus a little bit, have one look at something and I will remember it forever. <laughs> there we go. Remember it forever now. What does it say? Yes, two. You knocked at the door a few times, but no one responded. The door was locked with strange symbols on it. Okay, I can't input a code. Suitcase. What's hiding here? What is hiding in the suitcase? An elephant? <laughs> Two elephants. The curtains were stained with ink. Something hides behind the curtain. Ah, the key was hiding behind there. The little rascal. <laughs> Useless. Okay, from this perspective. I oh, know I forgot the... Ah, shit. I forgot the numbers. What was it? Two, three, and... Okay, can you stop being an idiot for a second? Alright, we got two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, seven. It's the code on the door. Question is, okay, this is something different again. What is this crap here? This, these symbols are... Those are different symbols. Aloe. It's Adam's Adam's favorite favorite plant. Uh, he's a plant too at this point. Oh, wait, it says something here. An inked picture of Ouroboros with the word words the start and the end. Ouroboros is basically a giant serpent who eats itself. It's used as an eternity sort of. Symbol. I don't know in which culture. The start and the end. It doesn't help me anything. Oh, the birds, the start and the end, and now you put in the weird code lemonade. When life gives you lemonade, you make lemons. Wait, no, it's the other way around. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. <laughs> just without sugar, it's just... It sucks. You need sugar, too. Ouroboros. Okay, we got Ouroboros on the thing. This is Ouroboros, the serpent that eats itself. The start 
start and the end. Oh, no, there's... Oh, wait, there, the arrows are... I did, the, I did three Uroburus. Which one is the start? Where does it start? Here? 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 This is just garbage. Matchbox. Can we light anything? Another key? Hmm. There's not going to be any new objects here, right? What if we... Um... Oh, it looks like a double-headed key. Huh. It's almost as if I've watched a video and knew it. A goss. Ah! A rotten finger doesn't seem to be humans. Really? What, what does it seem to be? A deer's fi An elephant finger, maybe? The manuscript was stained with ink everywhere, just like Adam's room. It's hard to admit that these crazy writings are coming from the hand of a respected archaeologist and these subversive views they convey. The subversive views, yeah, that sounds like a, a place where you can't have your own thoughts. Ed, I hope you can read this manuscript. If you miss this chance, we'll be doomed. So far, only Tame City has become the origin of the spreading of the darkness, but the darkness will eventually penetrate the whole planet. Those missing cases, strange rumors, are just the beginning. We actually live on a farm of the superior. superior. From our point of view, the pursuit of survival is undoubtedly legitimate and meaningful, but in his sight, our existence is only his purpose. According to the information left by the ancient civilization in the back world, there have been several generations of ancient civilizations on our planet, and they've basically all been destroyed at the same stage like ours. What is this pretend you already know? The last generation of civilization has found a way to postpone this doomsday for hundreds of years. That is to hold a deception ritual. Ed, if you have read through this, stop first. Pick up that finger so you can understand all this quicker. We have to finish something in the back world before the darkness completely erodes tame city. Well, I pick up the finger. You can pick up the finger. Oh, you pick up the finger of the unknown creature and close your eyes and feel the turbulence of space again. Oh. Space. The final frontier. Is is it a dream or something somewhat back world? I oh, know we're in the in the Cthulhu world. Seems someone is trapped inside the vine thing. The dead, a male corpse in an old-fashioned suit, vines intertwined between his bones. We lost our. Uh, <laughs> we lost our items without ever using them. Small home. Only the shape of a child can fit in here. Oh, 
god. It's the ice world. I've dreamt of this before. Dead woman. What happened? What is this Chinese thing? So this guy, I would like to see a long, a long game from him. I think this one is going to be quite short, but with proper translation. So get someone who translates this, that it sounds like an English person would say or read it. Can you put it on? Oh, you want to die too? It's too dangerous. It's too dangerous. She doesn't have anything else. part in the middle. Oh, I think it looks, it looks exactly like it's made for the jacket, right? No? <laughs> Strange. And it ends here, and we don't know what to do. Puzzles in this game aren't really making any sense so far. I could use my awake. Let's use my awake. But let's save first and then we're just gonna reload. Useless. We're gonna need something that has that shape, right? We got the jacket, that's all we have. We got a dead woman. Wait, maybe we can go into the back too, no? Can't go anywhere. I can break off the branch nearest to me. It may be used as a crowbar. If I can break the branch off nearest to him, with the jacket? Where's the jacket now? It's disappeared? Right. It wouldn't make any sense to put on the jacket in this weather, right? It's better to freeze to death. That is so much better. Useless. Useless. I'm not gonna do that. Useless. Oh, maybe we have to. As a crowbar? I hope the developer doesn't know what a crowbar is. There we go. I just used the crowbar. <laughs> a folding knife. could have used the berries. Honestly, could have just eaten the berries. Give him some uh, some power. Let's see if we can cut the, the vines. Hello! Is it me you're looking for? Ship it up it up it it's just as incredible as the pattern on it. Strange stone. Okay, sir, please don't wake up. Stay dead. Thank you very much. Please stay a corpse. Uh, 
There we go, there we go. We got the stone. Sush. I hope this uh, was the, the, the right thing to do. It seems like the only thing. Oh. Wait, did the cloth raise? The cloth swelled up. There seems to be something in it. When you lift the cloth, the cloth, the broken part of your mind reflashed. The, <coughs> the back world in the candlelight, the principle and trace of the advent of pagans, why the police in Tame City face tribulations, and the whereabouts of Anna and other missing children in Tame City. None of this is new to you. At the moment, you seem to have found your murder weapon in the dark, and in any case, the sunshine of the next day will unconsciously brush away your fear and guilt. It won't be long before more people enter the night unprepared like you to serve another master, until the whole tame city is completely occupied. <laughs> Awake check. You own more than zero awakes. You passed. I'm, I'm going to assume it's a good thing, huh? Anna? Wait, everything is black and white and the flowers are red, but we can't pick them up. Wait, let me save the game. Oh, I can't save. What is it? Anna. I'm fine, don't worry about me, Grandpa. It's beautifully here, Grandpa. Yes, very beautiful. <sighs> Are you sure you're okay, Anna? You can tell me anything. I just feel sorry for no reason. Maybe I love this place so much. And you? I should give her a moment with herself. I just gave her a moment. When I didn't click her. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay, let's save. Now we can save. No, we can't save. We can only move the mouse over these, and then if we click, nothing happens. Whew. Oh, now we can save. Let's use an awake on her. See what happens. It might be a good idea to give her a small gift. Violet. Red flax. Which one do we give her? Daisy. Oh, a stump. Not now? So these flowers, they have a meaning, right? This is a great stool or workbench. Can we pick up all the flowers? Oh wait, maybe we just have to bind them together and make a beautiful little bouquet. A bouquet, like the one I gifted my mom from a, from a Mother's Day. She's still talking about it. It was a good idea. Safe. Safe. Shubadoo. 
Uh, do you want the wire? <laughs> want some daisies? A little work will be better. I'm trying to bind them into a flower bouquet, but the game won't let me. Sorry about that. Maybe you have to bind them on the tree stump? I don't know. I can't possibly bind them anywhere else. I mean, that's that's obvious, right? You can just... You try putting the flowers in your ass? Maybe that works. You just put them up there, and then you go, like, backwards with the flower, looking out of your ass to Anna like this. Oh, I got a present for you! <laughs> <laughs> You know, the normal present that the grandfather would make. Not like this. Oh. We need to... Okay. There we go. So that's how you do it. We're making a flower ring. You need to tell me that before. I, I, I thought we'd just put the flowers together and then the wire around it and then there you go. It's not clear what we have to do. Especially the, the puzzle. I'm still confused about the puzzle. The moment you the moment Anna put on the flower ring, you seemed to think of something. Regret and guilt were about to crush you, but Anna's voice interrupted the thoughts in time. The ring looks great, Grandpa, thank you. I feel cold. I should bring her a blanket. Oh okay, of course she feels cold, she needs the blanket. So he is serving some weird old deity like Cthulhu or whatever. And he murdered her. And now somehow he died as well and he's with her in the afterworld. Or maybe this is his punishment. Oh yeah, oh, this is the music of happiness. That concludes this game already. This game was very cheap. I will not complain. Thanks for playing. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.